Hi guys, today I'm going to show you the trick to field stripping the P365 BB gun. Um, for some of you, you've never had this problem, and for others, this might be the first time uh, you managed to actually field strip for cleaning or whatever on jamming purposes. Now, I got mine, I couldn't field strip it. As you all know, there's no visual cues, no markings. I tried all the positions possible. I fought, you know, I forced it as much as I wanted. Nothing would give. There's nothing in the manual. You look online. Um, there's people who can disassemble it, no problem. And there's people who can't. The comments are a mixture of both. There's videos of people completely disassembling the BB gun. Um, you don't need to disassemble it, uh, to disassemble any screws or take out spring pins. This is field strippable. The visual cue, everybody, that you need to look for is as you activate, actuate the takedown lever, go check out the tip of your guide rod. If it doesn't seem to move, just put a little pressure on it and fiddle with the barrel and bam. You can see, uh, you can see the guide rod is recessed now. Now that just freed up a couple of millimeters so that the slide can move back enough off the rail in the back. And there you go, you can field strip. Now, spring's gonna come off. There is a metal, a metal washer and you got a rubber bushing and you can kind of see it right there. There's a rubber bushing. Right now, mine is seated. If it wasn't seated, it would be, you know, it wouldn't be flush there. It would be floating on your guide rod. While you got this off, take out your guide rod, look down inside, um, play with the takedown lever. You're going to see the mechanism. It's not an actual lock or anything. It's more, it's more of a stopper that just prevents the guide rod, that keeps the guide rod in place and having the guide rod this spaced out well there you see, you can see my, my washer moved a bit um, that prevents the slide from completely popping off the back on this little rail here, you see mine is kind of worn uh, the rail on the slide is just this little section right there, that's the only thing well, the underneath there, but you can see mine's completely worn from trying to get it off uh, the first time. Anyways, so get that guide rod in there. Uh, see, you can see a pop in. Now you grab a little screwdriver, start underneath your guide rod. Uh, be gentle, don't force anything, don't scratch your rod, don't, you know, just gently ease that bushing into its seat work your way up both sides you might have to fiddle with it you might have to you know it might take a couple tries just be gentle and apply pressure until that bushing just pops right into place once your bushing is seated now you leave your guide rod in because if you take it out it pops the bushing out put your washer back on put the spring back on Okay, and there you go. Don't have to worry about where you put this uh, takedown lever uh, back in position because it's just a stopper, so you don't need to lock it onto the frame or anything. Uh, yeah, and there we go. Totally functional P365.